facts. Thunder Bay police have announced the takedown of a widespread drug trafficking operation. Project Waffle was a joint effort with the OPP to disrupt the local drug trade. $2.3 million worth of drugs has been seized as well as cash and three people have been arrested. Vasilios Bellows reports. The seven-month-long police investigation began last summer. Along with over $2 million worth of crack and powder cocaine, police also seized $470,000 in cash and multiple handguns. Police Chief Sylvie Hoth praised the work that led to the seizures, but recognized the issues that surround the region. We are an island here within the northwest of Ontario, and the cost to investigate, to enforce, and to disrupt the flow of illicit drugs, guns, and gangs comes at a very high price. We have never faced a greater threat to public safety and community safety and well-being as we face today. The search warrants executed during Project Waffle occurred at six different homes located around Thunder Bay and one in Shunya. Detective Sergeant Dan Irwin was in charge of Project Waffle and stressed the importance of being able to search this many addresses in a short period of time. To make it hard for us to detect them, they're going to use more houses. That's in a nutshell. We have all these rules to follow as the police. They don't. The more spots they have hidden throughout town, it creates work for us. We have to find them all. We don't have a crystal ball. Again, we have to do the legwork. And again, it's these officers that do that legwork and are able to come across them. It is recognized by those across Ontario and beyond that the Thunder Bay drug trade is lucrative. This is one of the reasons it appeals to out-of-towners with one of the three men arrested originally coming from the Greater Toronto Area. Detective Inspector John Fennell says projects like these can disrupt some of the drug trafficking. We, we arrest people steady and unfortunately there's a steady flow of people coming to replace them. We're trying to put a dent in that. This is obviously substantial. This will put a, at least a dent for a short period of time into the drug sales here. The three arrested aged 25, 27 and 46 remain in custody with future court dates, while investigations related to Project Waffle are considered ongoing. Vasilios Bellows, TBT News.